Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, good to see you and all like that. Um, I'd like to share some words with you from the living word of God. I'd like to start out with saying that I love you all. And the better news is I know that Jesus loves us more. That's very comforting. I'd like to read some scripture today from the book of Ephesians chapter 4, 1 through 6, and Philippians chapter 2, 1 through 4. And it's about unity. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interest of others. As we think about this in these strange times, the interest of others, this uh, social distancing, if you will, um, we're thinking about our neighbors, others. I'm personally not afraid of, of the illness or dying, but I surely don't want to pass it to my neighbors, my family. So we do our part as Christians. The good news is we can still worship the Lord this Resurrection Sunday will be different because we won't be meeting together as a hugging and, and just enjoying that tightness, that closeness, this love. But our personal relationship with Jesus doesn't stop. And we can fully meditate and take advantage of all the technology so we can be plugged in and have our hearts right before the Lord. Uh, today happens to be Friday, Good Friday. Wonderful news for us. Jesus completed the work. He it's finished. He said on the cross, and um, you know I'm sure it was awful difficult for him, and it states that in the scripture. But for us, tremendous, tremendous news. Good Friday, Good Friday. So I hope that you hear this in in good health. I hope you're at peace with all this. Sure, it's difficult, and there's a bit of a sacrifice to it. But God knows all things. This doesn't take him by surprise, and we trust in Him. One hope, and that's in Jesus Christ our Lord. So be safe until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen.